Good morning, students. We are going to see 11th standard, second unit, second prose. The queen of boxing, MC Mary Com. Okay, so Mary Com is an iconic figure of India that everybody knows all around the whole world, particularly in India, because she is known for uh, boxing and known for um, world champion, world championship in boxing. For uh, not only for five times, which is mentioned in your book, it is also for the sixth sixth time which she has got recently in the past year, also. Okay, so she has got nearly world championship for the sixth time world championship. In your book, it is given five times. I am requesting you to change it into six times. Okay, so six times consecutively. She has got the she has got the world boxing championship. Okay, when thinking about boxing, we what uh, boxers, great boxers come in, comes in our mind is uh, Mike Tyson, uh, Muhammad Ali. Okay, likewise certain famous boxers those who come in our mind. But when it comes to India, definitely we cannot go away without uh, seeing our great uh, lady. Queen of Boxing, Mary Com. So in this lesson, we have, she has she has given the lesson as an autobiography. Autobiography means a person who is writing about himself. That is what autobiography. Biography means a person who is writing about others, getting inspired by others and writing about others. That is what we say biography. Autobiography means where Mary Com herself has given this. Uh, listen for us has written uh, has written this autobiography okay the title named unbreakable okay the title name is what uh, unbreakable uh, in 2013 she has received all awards like uh, Batma Shri, Batma Bhushan okay and uh, so far so much uh, boxing championships six time world uh, Boxing Championship, Olympic Bronze Medal in 2012. So, so many. She is the recipient of many medals, okay, from the game called uh, boxing. Okay, let us come into the lesson. Let us see what hardship uh, she has faced throughout her life in achieving those feet, okay, uh, in getting uh, the World Championship. She is just experiencing. She's Telling about her experience, how she has managed to get the world uh, boxing championship, how she had started her career, okay, how her career was, and what all the problems, obstacles she faced in getting those uh, honors and everywhere. That is what we are going to see from her lesson, from her autobiography. Okay. Soon after the Bangkok Championship, I was selected in the 48 kg category for the International Boxing Association uh, World Women's Boxing Championships in Pennsylvania, USA in November, December 2001. So soon after the Bangkok Championship, 48 kg category, so you all know uh, every boxers fight under certain categories, 48 kg. Uh, 75 kg okay it means that the particular boxer should have that kind of uh, kilos okay 48 kg means that person should be 48 kg to fight opponent person also should be 48 kg he should not he or she should not extend above 48 kg okay so that is the thing okay so in that slot only they will have to go and box so after finishing her box Bangkok championship uh, she was selected she was selected to the world women's boxing championship in usa pennsylvania okay november december 2001 she's selling my father managed to collect only rupees 2000 for my trip she has to go to usa and you all know the expense okay that it would take lots and lots of money to go to uh, United States for uh, participating in the game but she had only her father had collected only rupees 2000 I was both upset and very worried because I had heard of how expensive things were in America so we all know 
you can easily imagine that uh, our cost of uh, living is uh, different and their cost of living is different so the cost of living in america is totally different from than that of us but there was nothing my parents or i could do they had no facility okay their father was able to get only of rupees 2000 i spoke to onler one of my friends about my problem so she so she is speaking to her friend okay uh, one friend his name is onler okay he is taking he is collecting some students and he is going and meeting some presidents and uh, they are collecting some money and helping mary box uh, mary mary com okay i spoke to onler one of my friends about my problem he invited a few friends and elders who who went to meet the two members of parliament and seek their help so the he collected some friends and they went to they went and met those uh, parliament leaders okay that they would get some help of course uh, it was benefit and they gave 5000 and 3000 respectively one person gave 5000 and the other person gave 3000 and magically we can see mericom having 10000 uh, in her hand okay two mps donated rupees 5000 and other and uh, rupees 3000 respectively and i had suddenly had rupees 10000 in my hands with this princely sum princely means what large huge sum and a little more more than that she might be having around thousand or two thousand okay with this princely sum and a little more than that had been collected from the people also people also supported her uh, they, they also lent their financial support in sending her to uh, the united states united states i was really i was relieved to have money in my pocket and knew that i could not come back empty handed after all the efforts that people had made on my behalf so so she has understood very clear and she has come to a clear uh, understanding that she should not come empty handed uh, for the money that she had gained and collected from all sorts of friends the parliament leader and the friend who has helped her so she she is now in a kind of like a critical situation that she has to do something she has to achieve something in united states and she should not come empty handed pennsylvania now she has reached pennsylvania pennsylvania was cold and beautiful it was snowing so it was snowing there we were confined to the sports arena sports arena we were confined confined means what see that confined means to stay in an enclosed space okay once you sit in a car you are confined to one particular place that's why you cannot go here and there move out okay that is what we say confined okay so they were confined in a sports arena sports arena means what stadium arena means what stadiums where people sit around and watch you play but what little i saw was pleasing to the eye the people were enormously nice to the people in the people of pennsylvania they were all enormously enormously means what great huge vast i have given some what are meanings enormously means what huge big vast so the people were enormously good to her nice to her okay she was very she felt very pleasing there the people were you know it was the first time in my life that i had traveled so far so that was the first time that mary com had traveled uh, for a long distance i was looking forward to seeing that seeing what america was all about but since we were the last team to arrive we went straight to the sporting arena from the airport so they were the last batch they were the last batch going to america and uh, she was looking forward how america would be okay but uh, since she was her batch was the last batch to go to that uh, sporting place they, she did not go directly she was not uh, uh, directed to the room or something they were all directed straightly to the sporting place where the sports were conducted okay the other team had already completed their weight in which uh, is compulsory for all players i was tired and suffering from jet lag okay so everybody participated everybody uh, went and put weight checked their weight and uh, she was suffering from jet lag 
Jet lag means what? Jet lag means when you travel from a flight from one place to another place and you will get some confusion. What kind of confusion is that here it will be morning. Soon after you go and reach there, there also it will be morning. Okay, you would be thinking that, that uh, once you start from here, it will be morning and there it will be night. But once you, but that is what jet lag, you get some confusion. You start here in the morning and you reach there, you think that it will be night, but, uh, op but uh, opposite it is also day there. So that is what we say jet lag okay so she was she was uh, suffering from jet lag she was suffering from jet lag it had been morning when i left and here it was morning again after weighing in i found out that i did not have any match that day so that particular day soon after the soon after very soon she reached reaching there she thought that she would be having match but she was very very lucky very fortunate that uh, she did not have a match on that day. Why she is feeling lucky means what? Because you are coming after a long, long distance and you are having some rest so that you can gather a lot of energy so that you can fight on the next day actively. But for certain players who are unlucky, okay, they have to go directly to the match. They have to go and show up, expose directly to the match, okay, where they feel tired and uh, you all know what the chaos would bring, okay. I was fortunate but some of the teammates were uh, not so lucky. I was able to rest well enough to face my opponent in the round which I won comfortably, very easily, very easily she had won the first match. Okay, My fear of facing new opponents quickly vanished. The next uh, opponent players and all was very easy for uh, Mary Com to fight and uh, win them. Okay, Everything vanished, the fear vanished, vanished means what? disappeared the fear disappeared competed in the 48 kg in this championship while teammates lost one another lost after one after the other her teammates were losing one after the other no one was winning except we can see Mary Com winning on the other side okay I went on to reach the finals so so we can see that she's reaching the finals I was even hopeful of winning the gold Okay, so now she is starting, she is gaining confidence that definitely she would uh, get the gold. The boxers were not unbeatable as I had earlier thought. Okay, I felt like this would be the place. Then only she is having, she is having a sort of stern and a firm uh, belief that this is the place where she should uh, fight off, okay, and uh, gain laurels to the country, okay. The event that would change my life, I kept telling myself, she had been keeping on telling herself that I can face anyone in the ring, okay, that boxing ring, I can face anyone in the ring because once you win a match and automatically you can see you, you gain confidence so that you can beat the next person, okay. In the quarter final, I defeated Nadia Hokmi of Poland by RSC. It is RSC means referee stopped contest. Okay, referee stopped contest means where two players are playing, two boxers are boxing, and one boxer is not able to bear the boxing. Okay, she is not able to bear the punch, and she is likely to get uh, fainted or lose the match. Means and the referee will stop the game. That is what referee stopped contest. So first quarter final. She defeated by RSC, which is called Referee Stop Contest, where we see, see that uh, Referee Stop Contest applicable if the referee feels one of the boxers is inferior to the other and risks getting hurt badly. Inferior means of low quality, she is not of low quality, that is what inferior opposite to inferior is what superior okay uh, and in the semi-final I defeated Jamie uh, Jamie Behal of Canada by 21-9 so semi-final also she has beaten a lady called uh, uh, Jamie Behal of Canada I reached the finals okay then at last we can see Mary Kong reaching the finals but she had lost okay but lost to Hula Sahin of Turkey by 13-5 okay she has lost in the final so obviously 
we know that once uh, losing the what, uh, golden medal you will get a bronze medal you will get a silver medal then third one is what bronze medal so we know very well that if you lose the final you get a, you are going to get a silver medal and uh, mary com was the recipient of silver medal but she was not satisfied you will see in the next uh, stanza the greatest is advantage what what cost her lost the final is that now she is giving the explanation is the food which uh, was not satisfied for uh, mary com okay she did not get enough energy the total uh, change of food which was not accustomed which was not suitable for mary com because she had lost 2 kg okay the category is 48 kg but she had lost 2 kg means what nearly 46 kg and automatically you all know that you lose strength okay that is why the main reason for her loss in the world women's uh, boxing championship which was held in usa okay the greatest disadvantage for me was my loss of appetite appetite means what hunger okay hunger okay where you feel uh, where you need uh, food but you don't get proper food that is what appetite i was not accustomed to the food there okay our country culture food is different completely different from than that of america okay try as i might i could not eat the food and i started to lose weight okay so much uh, so that just before the finals i was only 46 kg where she should be suppose where she should be 48 kg she was just 46 kg this is probably was cost me uh, my dream of winning gold and i was very disappointed so she was completely disappointed of not winning the gold medal okay i went to my room and cried but the coaches were kind they consoled me she went to the room and started crying obviously coming to the finals and not getting the gold means uh, she is completely disappointed and she is going to her room and started crying okay her coach everybody is coming and consoling her and trying to pacifying her okay trying to cool, trying to cool her okay but it's very difficult okay so that is what we see console console means what comfort okay comforting or pacifying if someone is in trouble we go and comfort them don't cry don't worry that is what called comforting or pacifying okay the coaches came and uh, uh, consoled her uh, and lauded me they appreciated on the silver win but we can see personally personally that uh, Maricom is not satisfied with the uh, silver win okay and uh, lauded me on this I was the only one in the team to get a medal so among the members those who participated in the uh, boxing championship she was the only lady to get a medal but the biggest thing I took away from this championship but the biggest lesson what she has learned from this uh, championship is that the conviction okay was the conviction that I could take on any boxer okay from there from there on okay from that place she has taken a strong conviction conviction means what a hope a belief okay a determination that she could take on take on means what she can charge anybody who comes in right right in front of her for boxing okay that is what from that is the thing that is a very important thing that we should learn from uh, uh, Mary Com. in the course of my career I have become used to travel and, and to the different ways that the things work in other countries so meanwhile after that we can see subsequently consequently we can see that she is uh, going to many countries okay she has got accustomed to different kinds of foods Chinese food she is particularly uh, likely likely to eat uh, Chinese foods one time in China we were given chopsticks to eat our means so once she went to China she was given chopsticks and we all know how uh, Chinese people eat food okay they used two sticks to eat okay uh, just when I had painfully begun begun to master the art of using knife and fork okay that was the time she was learning to eat with knife and fork but we could see in china they are just using sticks okay fork and knife would be somewhat comfortable but the more uncomfortable is that using sticks and eating okay i had to use two sticks to fill my stomach i ended up using both my hands to hold the chopstick to pick the, up the food and push it into my 
mouth at last she gave up and started eating with hand okay my teammates asked for spoons okay her teammates asked for spoons but i tried to manage with the sticks it helped that i really enjoy chinese food from from this stanza from this paragraph we see that uh, uh, she is enjoying chinese food okay and she is a manipuri lady okay so uh, we could see those people uh, food might be similar okay there will be some similarities between their food and they get the same taste i i was hungry enough that i managed the complex work required i ate enough to sate my appetite she has eaten a lot to sate means what to satisfy to satisfy her hunger okay appetite and my palate and my palate means what the sense of taste okay after 5 years of traveling i started taking along some packed food from home okay after 5 years uh, after 5 years of traveling she started uh, taking food from india itself packed packed food okay packing food from india so that she could go and take there okay so this is the first session of uh, queen of boxing uh, read the meanings which is given in the video and uh, you will see in the next class